Hello and welcome back to another video. Right, okay, so Google Street View, Google Earth has been around for quite a while now. And in today's video, I just thought I'd do something a little bit different. I've only recently found out, and probably a little bit late to the party, that you can roll back Street View 15 years. So I thought, you know what, the place I grew up in, the place I still frequent daily, I'm going to revisit it 15 years. So it's uh, 2023 January, and if you click on Google Street View, click on the dates, and there we go, August of 2008. So just a quick thing, yo, there's 2022. There's the Gormons. We're going to start here, and we're going to go up. We're going to go over the hill, and we're going to go down as probably as far as, say, maybe St. Pat's, maybe just a little bit over St. Pat's. So, yeah, so let's, um, well, without further ado, let's uh, crack on. So if we just go up a little bit, and we have the Car Care Centre, uh, that's 2022. Now, if you click on 2008, there's the Accident Repair Centre. St. Benedict's, that's the advertisements. Was that that when it just opened? I can't remember. The old St. John Alman School, my old school. Uh, that has been here, pff, I think, since Jesus was actually born. So, you know, the oldest chapel, I think, in the world. I don't know. Um, right, okay, so... Just make sure we're on 2028, 20, 2008, sorry, because sometimes when you're going up the street, it changes back to 2022. So Roscoe Engineering, now as you can see there, it's open. Anyone not familiar with the area? Well, the original Dingle Overhead Railway Terminus was here, knocked down years ago, but Roscoe Engineering used to have the uh, the, the tunnel and, you know, as a garage basically inside. It collapsed in 2012, been closed ever since. But yeah, that was the original the way you drove in in your car and stuff like that so just a little flash to 2022 and if we just go over there you can see that it's it, it i mean it's it, it, it's a car wash it's a hand car wash nowadays but you used to drive in there and go down that was one of the the experience of taking your car in there was just you'd never get it anywhere else you'd, you'd be taking your car in a disused rail tunnel going down a dead cold and windy tunnel over the bridge oh, i was it was it was nuts ne never get that back like hopefully one day it'll be you know reopen so what we have today is a uh, rambo's car wash i'm pretty sure if you go around the back there you can see some of the um the old terminus so we'll go to 2008 because that's what the video was about today i think that used to be called warwick garages i remember it open as a car showroom many years ago as a kid um and obviously it's a, it's a thing you know now you got the old cottage which was next to the so the, so basically the frontage of the old dingle railway station used to be here and um this this is all the same these have been here for years so this land used to be called the black terrace now i think it was called a black terrace because of all the traffic basically i think turned it black i don't know but it was a row of houses anyway some of them were most of them actually were three stories high because my mate used to live in this one just here it used to be like a uh oh, what was it a hairdresser's here and then you know the whole, there was a pharmacy here and uh, a good mate of mine used to live right on the corner here, Mr. Mr. Dazza B, good friend and subscriber. I hope you're watching, mate, and I hope you give us a little comment. So, yeah, this area hasn't changed for many years, as you can see. All still the same. You've got Thomas Porter, uh, which to this day is still there. In 2008, he was there as well. Oh, I can't remember off the top of my head now what that pub was called. Um, but I do remember going in there. Oh, when was it? For the first time, anyway. And um, you know, one of those things off a film where you walk into a pub and your face is not known, and the musical. It was literally like that. Everyone just fucking turned and we'll look at it. I think they thought we were coppers. I'm pretty sure people thought we were coppers. So anyway, enough about that. So this is how old it is. Uh, the fourth kind is abduction, and you've got what's it called no I can't what that's called anyway there's a 
there's an old bus anyway some of my bus friends on here will know exactly what that bus is in fact can we get a fleet number oh it's gone we've missed the bus so we've got Bedford, which uh, i do believe now has moved park road mini market which uh, is no longer there sandwich bar is no longer there let's just go up a little bit and cross the road so this chippy not one of the best chippies going but yeah it was okay if sort of like the others were closed this is still here to this day you've got little moe's which has been there for donkey's years lovely curly fries or curly chips in there uh, now this news agent i used to hang around with a lad who oh i can't remember his name now oh there were two asian lads one was rakesh sanjay sanjay verme and rakesh verme and uh, we we become good friends and you know we, we used to go upstairs and his mum used to give us cans of coke and stuff like that and um obviously he's not there no more but i don't know who, who's in there now but little mo has been there for donkey's years uh but yeah good times in there really good times in there if you're watching sanjay or rakesh um you know drop a comment so we'll get in touch so 2022 dentist which used to be a bank is still there so you've got little moe's the general store and you've got fish hut um so you've got now sorry let's just go back there quickly yes yeah, so you got a is it a, it's a late night barbers and uh, as you can see it's called fade and look what the sign has faded in the sun yeah yeah pretty sure, yeah it's august yeah august 2022 i say i can't it's, it's not something i sort of like consciously look at every time i go down park road but you know some things will pop out at me uh, let me see so we're on 2022 let's go back to 2008 when we had the luxury of wait for it summerfield now originally that used to be quick save i used to live in number 24 which was here and i took some photographs of when titan got knocked down and uh, remember titan wow what a building what a building the old swanning building um currently now it is a little so yeah let me just see if anything else so that's these these flatter apartments have been here for donkey's years uh we'll go up a little bit um let me see right so that's sometimes it goes back so that's 2014 for some reason it, it it must be just like the timeline of photographs that they've taken i don't know but it will go to 2022 anyway so today we have pooch palace city phones revival safis and can't say that yeah yeah tie whatever it's called so 15 years ago we had dingle furniture carpet bed world shoe place opticians and mj's cafe uh, i do believe was it jago's cafe i can't remember now um oh, wow this brings back so many memories this dingle opportunities now i'm going back uh let me see oh, when did i when did i move from at my mum's 20 odd years ago anyway uh before pcs were a thing in people's houses dingle opportunities actually had a free course a telematics course and basically they taught you how to build pcs how to make pcs how to run pcs and stuff like that and yeah i don't, I don't know what happened to dingle ops actually but yeah wow good times this one here used to be when i was a kid it was ken's news agents um it's all changed now to a uh, kebab place so apparently that's supposed to be really nice i haven't been in that and you've got a pizza and kebab place now uh, dean's barbers and as anyone from park road will know aka ernie's let's go back let's go back to 2008 yeah ernie's barber shop next to that <laughs> oh man heather loston heather loston's uh, cash generator today yeah cash generated now i'm just gonna save this little moment here so there we go tesco 
Uh, at the time of that getting built, I do believe they said it was the biggest in Europe. I'm, 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 I'm not sure. I think other ones have been built since then, which are bigger. Uh, so as of 2008, there we have it. So what we have there is the old Leo's slash Pioneer building. Uh, last time it was used was a bingo hall. I think it was top rank bingo. So yeah, many memories of, you know, going shopping with my mum. Uh, just walking up there, we were just sort of like, it was only literally a 10 minute walk back home. And uh, kids being kids, me and me brother were just arsing around, running around there. And I think it ended up being like half an hour or something. And by the time my ma got home, the fucking ice cream had defrosted and stuff like that. So yeah, so yeah, used to, there's the delivery thing there. All the wagons used to go in. Phone box uh, has gone to this day. That's not there, that's now. Oh, actually, oh, actually, actually. Yeah, sorry. I do apologise. The phone box is sort of just slightly been moved, or is it in the same place? I don't know. Um, it's possibly in the same place. Yeah. Well, do you know what? I've never noticed. You know, the phone box still there. Anyway, so uh, it's gone to two oh nine now. Twenty oh nine. We'll just get across this road here. Oh wow, banana bunch. Wowzer! 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 So Banana Bunch, didn't they used to have two stores? One was here, one was across the top of the hill. I do believe a good friend of mine informed me that these, uh, whoever runs Banana Bunch now, it's in Kirby. So I might take a trip up there one day and see, you know, what's, what's what. Apparently, it sort of looks the same as it did when it was in Park Road. So that'd be interesting. Like Headquarters, uh, yeah, it's still there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, headquarters still there. Uh, Billy Quick Specs, so in 2008. Uh, it was called Neto Yaj. Is it Neto Yaj? Whatever. Uh, and oh, this chippy was just... Oh, this chippy was just the best chippy ever. I first got introduced again by a good friend and subscriber, Mr. Dazza B, um, to Donna Meat and Chips. And it was just the best kebab meat ever. The only downside is, so bear in mind, there's the chippy there. And every time I'd sort of like come back down to my mum's when I moved out, I used to go from, so there's that road. So from the walk from there to there was literally two minutes. And uh, as nice as the kebab meat was, um, by the time I'd got to the house, the kebab meat was freezing cold. I don't know why, it was the only kebab meat I ever had that sort of went cold dead easy like so. Yeah, oh, just, just this. You used to have the head, the skewers were there, and just the counter was, oh man, just, you know. Sadly, I think his name is George. Uh, his wife used to work with him in the chippy. She took ill really bad, and he had to shut up shop and look after it. I do believe, I think, that um, yeah, they've moved down south, I don't know. But anyway, it's, that's nothing to do with the. Uh, me or, or anyone so yeah um kathy's cards yep still there to this day uh papa's kitchen it is now yeah max is still there just a bit of a frontage is being put up mobile phone repair shop's been there for a while now uh anyone remember was it this one uh the video shop i do believe the number of my card was 2493 was my number the blind shop which is that yeah riverside blinds in 2008 next we have the old ray building or is it yet ray's building uh to this day it is still a sunbed place let's just go up a little bit um now in 2008 dingle pets i do remember going there because i had a few cockatiels and used to walk up i think didn't they used to be on the corner there? I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, this, I think, is Bethred nowadays. Is it? Um, I'm thinking of something else. No, I do I do apologise. So, yeah, you've got Golden Rooms. You've got the Turkish Barbers. Uh, you've got Hang Fung Chippy, which is still there. And in 2008, Hang Fung was there. I can't remember that being there at that time. I, 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 it just doesn't, doesn't ring a bell. Uh, 
So you've got Elegant Home now, Park Road Discounts, which has been there for quite a while. I Wasn't it originally a 50p shop? I don't know. But yeah, that's what it used to look like in 2008 anyway. Just let's spin round here. So in the old Pioneer, Leo's building used to be the post office. And when this got knocked down, it got moved into uh, Quick Save down here, which now Lidl's there now. So yeah, it's the, the post office. I don't know where the nearest post office is, but yeah, just just memories of like just 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 that just just that. These here running up them as a kid used to struggle running up that as a kid. Now, if that was still there, you just step over that, you know. Anyway, uh, right, so it's gone to twenty oh nine. Uh, yes, yeah, so yeah, twenty oh nine is good with me. It's funny because you can see everyone looking, and all the faces are blurred out. You can see them looking because the Google Street View van uh, was quite prominent. The big, massive camera on the pole, the top, like right. Okay, so the Pineapple Hotel, uh, which is now a um, bed and breakfast, I do believe, or is it flat apartments? I don't know. Can't remember now. So in twenty twenty two, it looks like this. So Sayers, oh sorry, there's Beth Fred there. Yeah, it used to be the bank. The NatWest Bank. Used to go there every Friday when I was on a YTS scheme. £29.50. pence. Used to have to last me a week. You know, so yeah, there's that bus stop still there. Uh, in 2022. There we go. Wow, good times, man. I mean, this was all sort of, I think when the when the bingo was made or refurbed or whatever you call it um they sort of done all this up as well this used to be grass at one point but they made it into stairs and stuff like that uh, there's the local fuzz there so yeah as i say that was the natwest bank which oh wait hsbc wasn't that natwest so i think it was getting refurbed or something like that but yeah so the Sayers has been there for whatever, I don't know, God knows how long. Big queue for the cash machine. Uh, if you recognise any faces there, and I'll Google, uh, Google blur people's faces out. So, the toilets, the old smelly, dark and dirty toilets on Park Road. Oh, yeah, disgusting, disgusting fucking place that. So, what you have here, if you're not from the area, it used to be a market was it every friday or saturday i can't remember now but yeah used to have a market there there's the entrance to the old um leo's used to have two used to have an entrance and was it an exit here or was they both i just remember going in that way uh when my mum went shopping i used to come out that way that was when it was leo's so yeah it was all sort of like you know when the bingo took over see if you can still see some remnants of it um so you can see bingo there i think it was so that was one entrance and the other one used to be it it, it, it was two it was two phone box right okay so i don't think that's the, no that's gone there we go so let us carry on over park here uh, park hill road park hill road park road Park Road Hill, sorry. Bloody hell. Okay, so for 2022, you've got this. Park Phones, uh, RD Marketing. Uh, that shop looks like it's closed down. It used to be an e-cigarette shop. So let's just get past this traffic. William Hill. Uh, yep, yeah, still there to this day. And you've got... Riverside Brines, which is now moved up here. Yeah, that's wow. Yeah, and then Carper Place. So as of two thousand and eight, William Hill, uh, McCoy's DIY. I remember that quite well. Smooth Lens gone. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, uh, Connections Claims Liverpool gone. Uh, Eggbuff Tiles and Glass used to be there. Used to be the old Quick Save building as well. One of the one of the worst quick saves I've ever been in, to be honest with you. I'm no sort of quick, you know, quick save fan, but very, very small and just dingy and cold and stuff like that. The old Nobile Craven's uh, funeral service, as of 2022, is still there. I should know that. Um, so we have a, what's that say? Beautify. 
let's just go down a bit so you got <clears throat> as of 2022 beautify kudos and the blooming flower shop and as of 2008 is long go kudos and the blooming flower shop which is still there pauline's which is not there it's now that and then we have British Asian Cuisine, uh, Ray Ray's, you've got a flat or a apartment, what do you want to call it? Italian Place, you've got the Barber Shop, which I do believe was there in 2008, and Hannah Pizza, which I think was called Iarno's. Um, ah, yeah, that was one of the nicest pizza places ever and um, honestly that is just wow phenomenal um, well phenomenal kebabs as well so of 2008 home life estates um let me see let me see let me see jackson and canter home life estates let's just flick across here um uh, so you got like a yeah plus stain so that's 2022 is oh it's all shut now that hasn't that's been shut for a while um now 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 didn't there used to be a bus stop here yeah was the bus stop here pretty sure the bus stop was there before it got moved to there prove me wrong 2008 i don't know i don't know i don't know didn't there used to be a bus stop here oh, i can't think off the top of my head now anyway let's uh let's proceed so in 2008 we had the queen's head which was still shut and as of 2022 still shut and still there now moving on to this is it chaos or chaos the best the best curry rice and chips i have ever tasted i am a major fan of chinese food i've had many curries around not i'll say around the world but wherever i've been you know spain and greece and poland and london and whatnot this place is oh, the, the the fucking pinnacle of 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 curry rice and chips now if you flick back to 2008 we will see the mighty woodstock that is just wow so many memories of that so many memories oh, just wowzer uh, I, don't, I don't know what happened to woodstock or why they closed down or what, what's happening with them nowadays but yeah i mean i never went in because i had no need to go in there but just to see that that was like a you know everyone used to go there for all the bits on on park road and that like so so you got the old bank as well which uh that's gone and i do believe well yes it has gone just a slight bit left to this day uh but that was taken in 2022 august 20 i think that's gone as well pretty sure went past the day and that was gone and as you can see these people here looking at the uh at the google the google van let's go back to 2008 yeah park motors uh i do believe they used to have a kraken in here just at the open these doors here a boss marble like um not marble mosaic yeah mosaic marble type floor my only sort of gripe is with myself is when i got into exploring when these houses were sort of here i should have just gone in them and just explored them and took photographs but no i've had, pff, missed an opportunity there so as of 2022 you've got the is the post box still there yeah still there that is still there one of the old drinking fountains what is it yeah still there that land just be vacant for years yeah yeah shame oh 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 black george's wow almost forgot about that pub as well so in 2008 it was sort of in that state 
yeah, blacks down the down the front there. Oh yeah, I I had a few pints in there. I, I wasn't really a big drink around Park Road, like, but occasionally we'd uh, me and a couple of mates would um, go in there. The old Tox of Pub. I can't remember offhand now, uh, and I should know the actual nickname for it. I do apologise for anyone watching. But yeah, that's what it looks like now, as of uh, August 2022. Bloody good times. Seance, is that how you say it? That's been there for donkeys as well. Yeah, not much has changed there. This land, uh, vacant as of 2008. Now it looks like this. It's like a bit of a sort of feature garden and stuff like that. I don't quite know the story behind it, but... Um, you can just see just sort of like some sort of little play area and stuff like that quite nice quite nice now if you flick back to 2008 uh, there used to be another pub just here oh, no no sorry it was or was it was it was long here anyway very very small pub that's long gone let's go down the road so as you can see before this quite nice little apartments we had this now I remember that well that was just you know you couldn't not see that when you're going to park road you got these apartments just getting built as well uh, you've got this Coleman's depository fireproof place which it was only really up a couple of years ago it just lay derelict and it was all just well, i should I, I, I missed an opportunity one day i seen the door open around the back and i should have went in and photographed that and filmed it at the time but yeah whatever anyway as of today it looks like that i like the way they've kept all this it's now apartments and they've used that it's a bit of a mobile phone uh, signal booster let's just go back down here right okay so there we have the apartments there just getting built you have the Altenma blocks there and all this was all just sort of coming to life around this area looks like this now you should be all tennies all all up and down here wow see if we can see oh i was just gonna say no farmer's arms used to be there didn't it so uh no doesn't go back that far shame shame so in 2008 kevin's chip he still is this day that is an absolutely amazing chip as well bookmakers um no it's park but you know yeah so a little little row of three shops there the globe been there for donkeys that's what it looked like 15 years ago never been in never been in and you got this toxic tabernacle which uh still there to this day still looking exactly the same as it was 15 years ago uh now these sort of are these apartments or is it oh no that's the that's the oh, what you call it well being offensive old folks home um and this used to be a bike shop here and i do remember as far back when i was a kid uh there was a bus stop here and there used to be tiles on the front of the shop all fell off and smashed and i kicked one of these like tiles and a splinter of tile went right through my shoe right through my foot and i just pulled it out went home blood i remember getting the bus there was blood all over the bus got home and i just let it stop bleeding and um years later i started getting a pain in my foot and i could feel something you know moving around anyway i had a tiny shard of tile that had sort of like been in there for all these years and um come the slides i had to get it cut out anyway so we have the royal oak um i think yeah i went in a few times uh as I, as I say i wasn't really a big drink around park road so old sussex gardens there behind so of 2022 it now looks like that 
still the same, just not a boozer. 2008. Um, all still present and correct here. All these houses, um, all the same. Yeah, everything's the same here. Nothing's, nothing's changed whatsoever down here. Uh, you know, I'll show you. As of 2022, it's all still, you know, whatever. So, used to be a white yes in there called Sudden Training, which I've done for many years. The easiest 30 quid you'd ever make. Back in the day, I was 14, 15, 30 quid lasted you pretty much all week. Uh, used to be the um, oh, St. Pat's School. Is that right? I don't know. St. Pat's Church. St. Pat's School. Again, I can't think of the top of my head. But if anyone knows anyone who's got the keys to this place, because this to this day, uh, the top of this and all that is still sort of derelict. Get in touch. I'd love to have a mooch around there. Uh, the old volley pub used to be there. Uh, 2008. Oh no, departments took over. So as you can see, everyone's still, you know, looking in disbelief at this Google van. Um, have I missed anything? I probably have. So to this day, that's sort of like cordoned off, and still to this day, it's cracked to fuck basically. And um, I think most of these are going soon. I do believe. So yeah, 2022, let me just show you quickly what I'm on about. Yeah, see they've got railings around it now and there. Big, big bush in that like. Let's go back to 2008. Any bus enthusiasts watching? Um, hang on, where are we? I do believe that is a Scania. Possibly yeah, back then was called the X5 from Runcorn to Liverpool. Fleet number 1047. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd put money on saying that was an X5. Can we see the front? Nah, it was all different images. Uh, what have we got here? 3140, that looks like Runcorn, possibly X5 or 82, I don't know, I'm guessing. This land as well hasn't changed for, wow, Jesus Christ. Um, I said 46, I can never remember this land ever changing at all. So, yeah. Right, we're near the end of this video, I'm afraid. All right, okay, so, um, oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, there was a bookshop somewhere here. One of these was a bookshop. And again, I'm, I'm gutted because I really only started getting properly into exploring the, the back end of, like, 2008, start of 2009. And, um, yeah, I, I always sort of thought I'd love to get in these and take photographs, but I never did. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I didn't really. As a 2022 storage place now. This garage here was, uh, it's closed down now. Uh, all people parking the car there to go into town, which I don't bloody blame them. 20, oh, I hope, no. I thought them tennies would have still been up, but nay. Uh, let me just go down a bit further. So I'll probably end the video, I'd say, here. Because there's no point in going down. Park Road pretty much ends here. So as of 2022, it looks like that. Now, not much has changed, to be honest with you. Not much has changed. 1978 build, is it? Yeah. Hitler's brother used to live somewhere up here. Up a stand up street. Uh, you've got the Titanic um, model, what do you call it there? And as of 2008, yeah, not years and years and years and years ago, that used to connect. Mill used to connect to a uh, park road, but yeah, closed off and it was never ever reopened. 
so yeah so that was a little look um down park road from 2023 um 15 years earlier to 2008 so i'll probably do a few more of these videos because they're quite interesting and i love anything history wise or seeing anything that's you know uh, what used to be there before it is now so yeah cheers for watching uh, as always and i'll catch you in the next video